Oh, hey, YouTubians. Gary here with VW Jawbreaker. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. You guys ever heard of the snowball effect? You know, where you do one thing, and it turns into another, and turns into another, and story of my life. I kind of wish I would have named Jawbreaker Snowball Effect instead of Jawbreaker. Although she kind of looks good as a Jawbreaker. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Come with me here for a minute. I did a few things and I didn't record it. I don't know why. Sometimes it's just easier to get things done. But check this out. Look at that stance. She is low. Why is she so low? Well, I put some drop spindles on her. Why? Well, got tired of the way the beam was riding. I'd measure it for you, but it's hard to get underneath the car to actually measure it, because it only sits about an inch and a quarter off the ground. Isn't that nice? Been working a little bit on buffing the paint. It's turning out good. And I got tired of dragging the muffler. So we put a stinger. Arr! Yeah, I'm running a baffle. It's uh, actually, I cut the baffle down a little bit and took the fiberglass off. Sounds all right. The muffler sounds better. So what's today's project, you ask? It's real simple. The car sits way too low and I can't really drive over anything. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and install a set of air shocks. So we're gonna walk through installing some air shocks on a Volkswagen Beetle. Let's get to work. All right, so I'll show you what we have. We have the Monroe 756 air shocks. And then there's our air shocks with our little fitting. So we've got a pair of air shocks and the reason I chose these is with the adjustable beam and the drop spindles, I needed between here and here on the air shocks is I wanna say like 10 and a half inches. I needed like 12, I believe it was. So these will not bottom out when fully depressed. I'll still have a little bit of travel. So that's a good thing. In the kit, you also get your rubbers and caps and nuts for the tops. And then you also get your airline kit. It has the airline and all the fittings in it. And for now, we're just going to go ahead and run just the Schrader valve. And we'll stick it somewhere out of the way. So we can access it and not hopefully drill any holes. So there we go, air shocks on a Volkswagen Bug. So let me go ahead and get the car up in the air and we'll see what we have to work with. All right, let me go ahead and zippity doodah the tire off so you guys can see what I'm doing. You know what? Let me grab a light. That might help some. All right, first things first. Let me grab you. Hold on. Pivoting. Sitting down, getting old. All right, so there we go. Upper shock tower. Lower mount down there. So our air shock needs to go right there and then down to there. Easy enough. Problem is, it don't fit. It don't fit. It's long enough, but it don't fit. So let's go over the bench and get that figured out. So here's what we're gonna do. We've got our air shock, hole's a little too small. Take a half inch drill bit. Just need to bore it out a little bit. Yeah, except we're not on hammer mode. Oh. 
until my drill dies. Oops. Oh crap, gotta get the other drill. We're only like halfway through. Drill out the hole, take two with better drill. There we go. Hole is drilled. All right, now that we have this drilled out, we know that it's gonna fit. And if you look closely, one side sticks out a little further than the other. So we're gonna trim this side off because there's not enough there for the threads. So it's just a matter of taking your whiz wheel. Death wheel. And my phone rings and we're done. Okay, I lied. The best thing to do is listen to my phone chime, cut both sides off, then drill it out. We're learning together. Now that we have that all together, let's go and do a test fit, see how she does. We got our washer and grommet on there. Fit it this way. Our washer and grommet up top. Snug up the nut. We're just finger tightening everything right now. All right. Oops. Loosen that up. There we go. Oh crap. That's too far up. is the trailing arm's coming down a lot further than what it really needs to and this is in the way hold on pivoting can you see can you see hope so all right there we go and i gotta find washers but we'll at least go ahead and put the nut on there And there you go. Air shock is in. Hold still. We have clearance up top here. We'll go ahead and run this all the way up. Ah, hold on, let me put you back on the stand. Can you see? Gonna run this all the way up. You guys are getting bumped again. This can't win today, you know? Snowball. Looking good. Okay, that is all the way down. And we have plenty of travel still. Still got at least another inch of travel. And I'm actually up off the jack stand just a tad. So there we go. Now we just gotta do that to the other side. I think we'll be all right. All right, let's go over these fittings real quick. It's pretty simple. You got some eighth inch tube, a T. You've got a little Schrader valve, Ordelio some caps, some little tiny o-rings, real simple. Slide your cap on and slide your o-ring on. Into the shock, into the T, whatever, you slide it all the way in. Once it's all the way in, go ahead and thread your T on and only finger tighten it because if you do more than finger tight, you collapse the o-ring and it collapses the tubing. So that's all you do. And that's done. That's it. So what we need to do is go ahead and run this side 
to one of the shocks, this side to another shock, and then your Schrader valve so we can air up. We'll go ahead and put that somewhere. All right, so we have our line coming from the other side to our T. There we go. So now what we need to do is we're going to tuck this up underneath. There you are. So we need to go ahead and get our line prepped on this side. To do that, we're going to take our O-ring and the little connector. Slide the connector on. Then we're going to slide the O-ring on like so. I'm going to go ahead and insert until you feel it stop. Make sure it's pressed in still. And then just finger tight. Now luckily on this side, I've got the little hole right there by the throttle cable. Or I'm sorry, that's not a throttle cable. What the hell is that? Speedo cable, thank you. We're gonna run it through there. Not get it all tied up on our suspension and steering. That's really difficult one-handed. Did you ever know that? You guys like watching me struggle, do you? All right, so at least now we know that it's out of the way of all of our steering. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and connect this side back here. We'll go ahead and cut that, tuck it back in here along with the master. Then on the output side, we'll go ahead and put our Schrader. And we'll probably put that somewhere I don't know, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, we'll put it somewhere. I'm leaving all the line a little long right now so we can uh, figure out where we want things and then I can go back and tweak it if need be. Well, that's not sitting too bad. That's actually 20 pounds. So let's throw some air in it. And see what we get. So what I did is I put the Schrader valve up through where the speedometer cable goes. So it's up here on the front, easy to access. It's about 55 pounds. That came up quite a bit. That's actually pretty impressive. I feel like going down now. And that's 20 pounds. So I think that'll work. I can probably put about 30, 35 pounds in it and call it good. I don't think it's going to need much more than that. Again, I'm just trying to keep it so I don't bottom out as much. So we'll have to go drive it around at a later time and see how it does. I don't know if you can tell or not. Hold on. It's getting dark. It's getting late. Look at that. Nice little sky. Man. And somebody hauling butt. What do you do? Well, guys, like I said, never once claimed to be an expert. Never once claimed to do anything other than show you what I'm doing and bring you guys along for the ride, hoping that you guys learn something from my mistakes. So anyway, thanks, guys, for hanging out. I appreciate it. Hope you learned something. Be kind to others. And until the next time, be good.